In this example, we want to create animated chart like this. Number one, number two, and number three. There are, there are from matrix and then we animated them, then use the tracer, then loft them and then use sum of a vector. Let's do that. Okay, let's begin. Uh, we begin for um, for those charts they are making with matrix. So we are in an effector tab at uh, to matrix. Actually, one matrix, matrix number one. In matrix number one, in the object, we make the one in this direction. Yeah. Size in this. Nice. And in this matrix number one, we can create matrix number two. The matrix number two is above that and we give a, a vector to the dat and then then we trace them and then we make them uh connect them as loft so this is matrix number two we need two tracer tracer number one tracer number two tracer number one this select everything to suddenly didn't assign to anyone mm. Tracer number one, matrix number one. And we need to mode connect all objects. As you can see, all objects are connected to each other. Tracer number two. Oh. As you can see, we have an issue here. Delete that. Tracer number two, matrix number two. And we need to connect all objects. It's easy. And now we have two tracer. You can assign them as a loft because the tracer number one and tracer number two are the spline. As we can see, the geometry is created. You can go then to the matrix and make the number um, endpoint. Make the number lower. We don't need to that much. Nice. And it's very simple. We can go to the matrix number two and assign any effector that you want. The first effector that you use is a formula effector. In a formula effector, we don't need to change the scale of the scale of them because they are not really cubed, just in a point. And we are going to select the y-axis. This is formula. And then play. Nice. This is one first chart that you created. Another chart that you can create Alt G to group them. Number two, instead of the formula, you can go it here. Instead of the formula, we can assign this. Deselect everything. We can assign <clears throat> sound or it's random, random effector. Bring it inside our null to make the everything clear and nice. And for the for, for matrix number two, we assign the random. And in a random, we don't need to all position, random all position, just y position. Double it. And here are random. And why it is done not animate? Because in a vector we have to select it in the noise. And after that, change the noise. We have a noise animation. We can make it higher. <clears throat> this is one example uh, of other. Nice. Another example is for the charting that are moving. We click and drag another one. Turn off the random. Bring it there. And we use the matrix number one here, number one, because they're creating and moving. <clears throat> you can delete them because first we just want to move them here. Okay, these are one in here. And we want to those two moving. So... No, no, don't need to delete tracer. 
we can use to both of them an effector time effector to move them time effector the time effector it's default in a rotation as i said before i want to move them in this direction and if you play they're not does not put because uh what happened the deformers everything nice effector time effector time why they are not moving let's begin from the first i think something is wrong <clears throat> clear everything clear we have matrix number one here matrix number one deleted time this matrix number one we don't need to do this direction and we are this direction number one this is one matrix copy that this is matrix number two and we want to those matrix <clears throat> assigned to the time effector in a parameter don't rotation i want to position it and move them oh as you can see they are going up I want to make them in a, this angle. Oh, that's right. And the, as you can see, they are moving. Nice. And we want to trace them. Uh, deselect everything. Go to the move graph. Trace a number one. Trace a number two. <clears throat> Rename them to everything is clear. To don't be confusing. To tracer number one. Cloner matrix number one and then mode is a trace pass because they are moving and we need the trace it's pass tracer number two as you can see we select the tracer number one delete that and number two and as you can see if you play it it, it they are tracing their pass and everything's done so we have a spline we have a spline and we can create another loft and put them under the loft and they are moving and creating the pass nice you can go to the time and make it faster and we increase our frame rate frame count to see it at the end going to the time at least more faster and interesting imagine how works you can do you can assign to the a number two another effector um another mm -hmm, random effector <clears throat> in a random effector no just position in, in uh, position in a y-axis randomize in a y-axis 2000 let's see what's happened here nope in this in something wrong there go to matrix number two yeah the random is there that's what happened so for animating that you have to go to the object of the random and make it the noise and now we have an animation like this interesting so in this artifacts because of the quality of the loft if you <clears throat> go to the display and Gaussian line as you can see we have a lot so few polygon here it's bad you can go to the tracer also and make it a busier and subdivided now we have better <clears throat> quality and of course going to the loft and we have to increase our mesh subdivision in any angle here nice and after that we have nice and more quality for change don't forget to um, increase the quality of the mesh of the loft i explained them before so we have three methods for creating our animated chart nice Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.